Well, it's been a very busy week, uh, particularly for the royal family, especially the Prince of Wales. Yeah, we've had the glitz of Royal Ascot uh, to shaking it off with Taylor Swift on his birthday. What a legend uh, Prince William was. So who better to run us through it all than? His stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Kinsey, good morning. Showbiz reporter Kinsey Schofield. And um, it, it has been a busy week. I'm just going to show some of the things that you have been doing whilst in, in London, and you can talk us through as, uh, as we can see uh, what what is so here oh, you are outside Buck House. Yeah, that's I, I had to meet some of the people outside of Buckingham Palace, see what they were up to. This is Royal Ascot. You, you took, took that photo. How close did I get oh to the king? Goodness. There's my purse. That's nice a horse. Outfit. Thank you very much. So my little horse purse. I also saw GB News's own Cameron Walker there. Look at how handsome he looks. <laughs> um, but Royal Ascot was a blast. I needed several days to recover. Was it what from you one expected? Day. Absolutely. Yeah. It was so fabulous. This is the National Portrait Gallery. I couldn't believe how how fabulous some of those images were of uh, the Princess of Wales, Prince William. Diana was there. I couldn't, that was such a beautiful photo of Princess Diana. Um, of course, I had to take a selfie with it because, uh, you know, just had to prove I was there. But um, there's trooping, the rain. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. you've seen all the weather as I, well. I have. Now it's getting... Oh, it's the frizzy hair to show <laughs> that you exactly. live through the British weather. And now it's finally, the weather's finally improved and I'm, I'm back, I'm yeah. off. I'm yeah. like, oh. <laughs> heading back. Home. And it doesn't end. You say you, you're back home. You're back home tonight. You go back and you're in LA tomorrow and you're straight back to royal work. That's right. Again, what have you got there? Julian's Auction, um, they have a, a, a ton of Princess Diana dresses. I mean, it's, it's amazing the new Diana dresses that they've got. Um, and we're gonna go, I'm gonna go look at each and every one of them. Maybe I'll send you some video. Oh, but sure. I can't wait to go check out those in real life. Now, I know you're a massive Swifty away from your love of all things royal. Can we just talk about Prince William? And I really hope that we've got this video of him, but somebody <laughs> got some footage of him. Okay, we'll check it out on social media. <laughs> We haven't got it, apparently. Um, he was up in the royal box. I mean, we can recreate course, it. The there royal are children. <laughs> I mean, he was really thrusting those shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Like, I actually watched it about 15 times to check whether or not this could possibly be the Prince of Wales. What was your reaction? And tell us the exact phrase you used at the break a moment ago. <laughs> well, my ovaries exploded. <laughs> I think he is the cutest. You and half the women in the world. <laughs> he yeah. is the cutest. Uh, Neil Diamond, I mean, where do you get these? Well, who teaches know. you these? That's just a royal move, <laughs> it I is, think. It's so cute, and it reminds me of the the, the concert for Princess Diana, remember when he was dancing to Nelly Furtado, Maneater? And it was like, oh. this is wild to see his dance moves. They have, they've, I guess they have improved or they have, mm. there's just, <laughs> but he looked so sweet uh, at the Taylor Swift concert. I love that he was there with his kids. I love that he was effortlessly just rocking out. It was pure joy. Um, and you know, we have been concerned about this family. So yeah. to see them having so much fun and to see them so blissful, oh, it was a, it was a blast for us. And I think it's a good indication that things are positive. Yeah, although she wasn't there on his birthday with the Princess of Wales, That's but you true. know what, the kids were there, they were all smiling. That's true, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, you must be exhausted after you went through. I know, I know a lot of this, I don't know if it was work or play or a combination of, of both, but um, physically I would have thought very tiring. Um, well, I've learned about compression socks. <laughs> I've learned about orthopedic Is it just shoes. Walking and, yeah. and yeah, standing for hours and hours and hours. Uh, yeah, so much walkings. And um, so I've, I always, I've always wanted to live here, and now I'm like. Am I physically capable of living here? Yeah. <laughs> Too much going on. There's a lot going on, but I love your, I love, I love London. It's so fantastic. And, uh, you know, the Royals did absolutely keep us busy these last two weeks. Yeah, you, you did pick a good week, absolutely. And to see the Princess of Wales at Trooping as well, oh. it's like you knew. Oh, she's so beautiful. Um, but it's fun to see the Royals through the lens of an American, isn't it? Because you kind of see, we almost take them for granted a little bit, but you bring all that extra pizzazz. So thank you, Kinsey. Thank um, you. Yeah, I was just trying to think, what have we got to look forward to royal-wise coming up? Any other big events in the calendar that the royals... Well, I do, I do feel like they might take a break here after this and go on holiday. <laughs> um, also, they did want to pull back for the general election, oh. so all eyes might yeah. be on the general I election. I think there's a Japanese state visit as well, I'm being yes, told. Yes, I, I did see them getting ready for that when I was at Buckingham Palace over the weekend. Mm -hmm. All of the flags down the mall, it looked beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so I suspect we might see Prince William again there, mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, I do think that they're probably going to put their hands up and be like, OK, general election time, all eyes on on your general election. He's been busy. William has been busy uh, over the past week. Everything from the Tribune of the Colour to the Euros, 
in Germany, the mm -hmm. football tournament, and then, as you as we were saying, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Very important. Going on. <laughs> it it's was good for the British economy to it support is. Taylor Swift's tour. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it was so funny because I was at um, just the Tower of London, all of the Swift shirts. So, I mean, I probably saw 50 Taylor Swift shirts around the Tower of London this, this weekend. Yeah. Why at the Tower of London specifically, I wonder? Because uh, they were tourists here for oh, Everybody's coming from America, Canada. Everybody's right. coming here for Taylor. The tickets were cheaper. Right. It's incredible yeah. To, yeah. to think that yeah. and to, to know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just saw London just full of women in glitter, uh, mm. glitter, glitter hats, <laughs> cowboy hats, <laughs> cowboy boots with gl glitter. Yeah. yeah, it was all there. Uh, and little did I know you were one of them. <laughs> um, there we go, Kinsey. Lovely seeing you again. You. Come back and yeah. see us again soon, mm -hmm. sometime. Don't leave it another year. Yeah. And safe journey home. Thank safe you home. so much. Safe love, travels. Love here. And I love how your um, your dress. Suits right behind you. Don't know. The, 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 see that lovely yellow yes. ties in there. I should have so worn yellow, really. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Thanks, Kinsey. Thank you.